Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are experimenting with one of the most popular lipsticks in the world. They sold 2.4 million lipsticks last year of this color. So we are tweaking it to work with me. Yes, I have cool hair, I have cool tones, but you know what? That doesn't limit me. Again, as we age, be open to everything. Be open to trying new products and seeing how they really make you look, how they make you feel. Speaking of how you feel, I have my sleepy gummies that I've talked about from Winged Wellness. It's a woman-based company. I've had such positive feedback from all of you ladies telling me how much it's helped you. And this was something that I found over a year ago, I was looking at Life Extension, which is like a vitamin shop for all different things, but I was there specifically for a sleep aid for my father. He was having trouble sleeping. And I've told this story so many times, but if you're new to my channel, it's very important to know that, you know, I'm always about finding remedies for issues that you have and really trying to address that. And I was always editing up so late at night. I mean, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, I wasn't sleeping well. I was always trying to do too much. And I knew I was waking up so many times. And the reason why I really knew that this product worked for me is that I have the aura ring and it's a sleep tracker. And this was very important for me to understand what's going on at night. Like it was my body repairing itself or wow, I really woke up that many times. I didn't have that much deep sleep. I didn't have that much REM sleep. What's going on? So when I started taking the winged wellness, the CBD gummies, my charts were like, amazing. I got so much deep sleep. I had so much REM sleep. I was like, and I felt incredible. And so that was really great. My husband started using them. He loves them. We see such a big difference. And it's nice because this company is a woman-based company. It's all about hormonal balance. This has primrose oil in it. This is a really nice thing to add as we're going through perimenopause, as we're having sleep issues, as we're having stress, and we might be having a hard time falling asleep. This is a wonderful product to basically incorporate into your beauty routine. I definitely see it as beauty and you're going to be able to fall asleep and improve your sleep quality. Again, it's designed for a woman's body. It's vegan and it's really delicious. I really enjoy taking these. Formulated by a holistic nutritionist and it has 10 milligrams of full spectrum of CBD per gummy. So you can put it on auto ship. I have a discount code below for you. And this is just something that's been a staple in my life for over a year. I always like sharing it with you because if you're new to my channel and you pop on and you don't know about that and you might be stressed or might be having sleep issues, which so many of us do, women really do have a higher percentage of sleep issues, insomnia than men do. And just a little nice something to be able to put into your nighttime routine and really feel that regenerative restored body the next morning. So this has really, really helped me. And I'd love to hear if you've tried it, just put a comment below and just let me know. And it lets the other ladies know also how it's helped you. So let's get into the video. So we're going to go right into prepping our skin and I'm going to start off with Gua Sha. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that I bought recently that I'm having a really hard time with. I'm having a hard time with understanding the concept and it's really bothering me. So I'm going to be using the Elemis. This is the pro collagen rose face oil. I've been using this for years. One of my favorites. It's not a really oily, oily oil, but it just soaks into the skin, gives me enough slip when I use my Gua Sha. My skin has been really dry. I've been using Retin-A, but just sparingly, like I haven't been going crazy and it's really powerful. You've got to be really careful with the Retin-A. So here is my Gua Sha stainless steel. I just released this last month. It's a beautiful, Beautiful, beautiful way to contour, depuff the skin, nice little ritual in the morning. So I'm going to do this and it just slides so nicely. You wanna use an oil, not a moisturizer because a moisturizer will absorb and then you're like left with feeling like, oh, it's not slipping. You need that slip when you're using the gua sha. So you can do any kind of different, you know, kind of routine that you want. There's no real system of, oh, you have to do it this way and you have to do it five times or what have you. Do whatever makes you feel good. Just really relaxing. I just, you know, kind of work my way around the face. But I wanted to tell you, I went to Sephora the other day and I bought Fenty lipstick and I wasn't really quite sure. I haven't bought it before. There was a color that I was um, interested in because I had read a little article about, but this is going to be a refill and then I have to buy the case. You know, we, we dealt with that recently when I had that Jane Iredell foundation, that foundation, the four in one that, you know, someone buys it every 60 seconds. And 
it was like, wait a second, I'm spending more money having to buy the refill. And then the compact, the compact wasn't available. So, you know, I just had the loose compact in the, the pan. And I was like, wait a second, I spent $46 on this just pan. And there's no compact, you know, it's going to get ruined. So I would keep going around, you can see the nice flush in my skin, I would do my forehead and what have you, but I want to get into this makeup tutorial for you. So I had to buy the refill and then the case. So I had an option between metal case or a black case. And I'm like, can I just buy it together? Like I love lipstick. I just want to buy lipstick. I don't want to have to DIY. I don't want to have to put it in whatever. So I found it to be very complicated and I was like, okay, I have a piece here. I have this. It feels like it's just nothing. So I was like, I don't know what this is. So, all right, yes, there's little directions on the side, like a little diagram, but who reads that, right? So then I opened up my little refill, $12, $20, $32, but I have to put it together. And I see that this has already squished half the top of it. So this comes with it all squished. Clearly we'll be taking it back, but I just don't understand like why we're doing this. Like, I don't understand. I know everybody's going to say less footprint, what have you, but let's do the numbers. I want to see someone do a report on we are more sustainable because we're doing this now. We're frustrating everybody. You have to buy. It's more expensive for you, but it's a less of an impact. I don't know how that's working. I would love to know. Do you love doing, putting everything together now and it being more expensive for you because you're buying refills? Personally, I just want to buy a lipstick and like love it and then use it until it's done and then get a new lipstick. I don't want to do this. I couldn't even open it once I put it together. And I wasn't the only person. I read the reviews and girls were like, this is so frustrating. And they're like, I couldn't even pull it out. They're like, I put it in backwards and then I couldn't get it out. They're like, I just do a lipstick. Just allow a client to buy a lipstick. <laughs> Let's not complicate things. So today we are using a lipstick that is one of the most popular in the world. 2.4 million bullets of this lipstick were sold last year. And that is the MAC Chili. Now, what's interesting about this is that it is a matte lipstick. It is a more of a brown orange. So watch out, gray hair, cool skin going in with the brown orange. Can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to do a little tweak to it because I don't know how I got this. Obviously I haven't used it. <laughs> um, I bought the Ruby Woo, which is one. I thought this was going to be what the article is saying. It's a beautiful red. It's more of your traditional blue red, but I had this chili here on my desk and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because not everybody is cool like me. Not everybody has gray hair that watches my channel. Why not? Maybe it doesn't look great on me, but it's going to look amazing on you. Or you already have this and this is one of your favorite lipsticks. Let's try it. Let's get outside the box. Now, everything I show you doesn't have to be like, whoa, that's amazing on you, Nicole, but it could be amazing on you. So let's try it. I'm going to just put on over the oil, the Bobbi Brown face base. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to go in with my flat foundation brush that I'm going to just apply it. Just keep it simple. I will dip in and then I will put it on. This is a really nice hydrating face primer and I'll just layer on the oil. My skin will be really nice and dewy and fresh. And then we will go into the rest of our makeup that we normally kind of prep and hydrates. And this is what is going to make the makeup look the best. The BB cream foundation is going to look amazing. Face base is on. It smells like this beautiful orange essential oil. I have been using that forever on my clients. I love it. So we have this really beautiful hydrated skin. Let's go into doing our eye primer. We want to really nicely lighten this area that's dark. I go into the inner corner, come up to the brow bone. I'm at the base of the lash here. So this is going to nicely give your eye that priming. You can see, so this is primed. This is not. If I put shadow over, I'm going to be doing lighter since we're going to be doing a darker lip. It would get all muddied into my skin color. And I don't want that. I want it to be nice and neutralized prior to putting on the eyeshadow. Eye primer is on. I'm gonna go in with just a very classic palette for us. This is the Bottled Blonde. I have a really hard time keeping this in stock, especially with raw materials being very scarce for the last two years. So we're working on it, but this is one of my favorite palettes to use. I think that it's just gorgeous. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go in with our new brush, the blending brush. I'm gonna just put on the first color here. I want it to be like a beautiful wash of color on the eye. 
nothing major. I just want it to be very soft, just like that, because the lip is going to be obviously much darker. It's a little bit outside of the comfort zone, but why not? Why not play around with color? And I want you to just see what it looks like and what you could wear with it. I'm going to go in with the lightest color here, do the brow bone, marry the two, very, very soft, very easy, not a big to do. I will be doing a dark chocolate eyeliner because my eyes are just so light, very, very fresh. That's it. Two eyeshadows, we're done. Then I'm going to go in with curling my lashes first. I'm going to just use my lash curler. You know, it's so funny. I want, I'm always getting to, I want you to get to the point because everybody's like, oh, get to the point of the, the video. And I would be doing my heated eyelash curler, but I would take a little bit more time. So it's always right here. But if you want to really see those lashes stay all day, you're going to be using your heated eyelash curler. But also, you know what I want to do before we're going to do the primer that we've done recently. The eye primer it really made a big difference with my lashes going in with dark chocolate. We're going to line the eyes the way that I love doing it. So it's just the eye is being lined. So right to the base of the lashes, you're going to really thicken up that lash line. And this is going to give you that dimension, but it's not going to take up a lot of real estate on the actual eyelid. So stay nice and tight. I haven't been using eyeliner for the last couple of videos. So I was concentrating on some other things, but since my eyes are just very neutral, this is going to make a high impact. And then that is why I'm using the eye primer for the lashes, the L'Oreal primer, or it's called base, the white mascara. And then I'm putting on my mascara. So you can really get a beautiful open eyed look. So you can see that I've done both eyes that you get just this really beautiful shaping of your eye. And remember, you don't have to come all the way down into the inner corner. You can taper down taper. Remember if your eyes kind of droop down here, stop shorter. Don't take it all the way down because that's what we're going to be looking at. You don't want someone's eye to follow the whole lid. Stop short. So it's lifting. Everything's about lifting the face as we age. And when we do makeup. So if you feel that you put on your eyeliner and you're like, Ooh, it just looks a little too, just too much. Or you want to blend it out. Just take the short smudge brush that I call the eraser brush. All of my brushes, say the name on the side so you never get confused. My new essential travel makeup brush set came out 10 brushes. It's really 11 because we have the concealer brush with the cap now, but you pull this out and you have a lip brush. Perfect. Speaking of lips, let's do a little vitamin E. I'm going to just take a little and put it on from my finger. Sometimes it gets really soft from the heat and that's how I apply it. So we can take the smudge brush and go to the base and just blend it up like this. It's really, really a nice technique because if you have really shaky hands or you don't have steady hands, you can go back and blend it up and it'll look like you did the most perfect eyeliner ever. So eyeliner is on going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous. I had mentioned this in one of my videos recently that I really love this formulation. It's much better than the other formulations that I had tried like Lancome, believe it or not. So I go to the base of my lashes and I work up. Remember everything you see on your lashes is going to be coated with the black mascara. So you don't want to have this all clumpy unless you like the clumpy look. I mean, you could like that look. It is a look, but I like to put this on as seamless as possible. So I'm getting to the base and I'm wiggling back and forth. So I'm at the base, I'm front loading, and then I'm going straight up. So every single lash gets it because I want to have every lash be coated with the black mascara. So this is going to thicken up my lashes. It's going to lengthen my lashes. It's going to really be like that extra boost. Then I'll just let it set for a second. I don't put on the mascara right away because I want it to do its thing, set up a little bit, and then I will put on the mascara. I'm using my mascara, which is for length and volume. It has this little brush. It's not really little, it's just flat and it has all these little teeth at the end. So it's going to grab all the lashes I just coated with the primer and it's going to really give it that extra look. I mean, I get so excited when I do this like magic. It's like, oh, there's my lashes. So if you don't see your lashes, grab yourself some primer, put it on and then pick up your mascara, your favorite mascara, whatever that might be. And 
do show stopping lashes. So there you have like these beautiful, full fluttery lashes with little effort. It's very minimal to do this. It's just one extra step, but it's totally worth it as you can see. So I'm gonna just take a little eye brightener. This is going to be something that I'm going to just give this little touch up underneath my eyes before we go into beautiful BB cream. I take it underneath just like this. I go up into this corner, I come here, underneath my eyes and I come down a little bit lower, you see that I have a little redness there or discoloration, what have you. And then I just work this in with my foundation buffing brush. It's a very light formula. It is very forgiving. And I'm going to just take that foundation buffing brush and work it in. And it really nicely will kind of just brighten this under eye area. If you do need a little bit more of coverage, you can go in with a concealer. NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Concealer is very nice. We have a pot also in Warm and Cool that you could do that gives you options when it comes to three different colors, mix and match, you know, do a custom color for yourself. It's a nice option sometimes, depending on your skin, when you just don't want one color and you're like, well, you know what? I kind of need a little bit deeper or today I'm a little bit more red or more dark or what have you. You have an option when it comes to the customizing with the concealer. Also, it's not about covering up the skin as much as possible. I have been very, do I say lenient with my skin as I age where I'm not trying to cover every single thing. Like I have, you know, pigmentation here. Sometimes in the videos, I'm like, oh, I probably should have covered that up. But it's like, it is my skin. I just want it to look beautiful and even toned. I don't need to go crazy because I really honestly feel like it makes me look older where I have, if I have too much makeup on, I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, like that's not good. Taking BB cream, I'm going to use a light and I'm going to use fair and I just mix the two together. There's no real special system to it. I put it in my hand. I will mix it in like this so I get a nice little color. And then sometimes I will take my pool side and I will do, it's like a highlighter, but it's more bronzy, just like that. I just take a little squirt. I'll mix it in together again. This gives that really beautiful kind of look to the skin of being very fresh, not over the top. I'll take my foundation buffing brush and then I just buff it into the skin. And it's really nice because you can see the hydration. You can see that it's really giving that glow, but it's not over the top. Every time I go around my hair, like between my, my eyebrow and my hair, I'm so happy. I designed this brush to be just the right size to not get all the foundation in my gray hair. Or if you have blonde hair, if you have light hair, you'll see it. You don't really see it until you see it like later in the day. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have all of this like foundation in my hair. So that was one of the big things when I was designing my brush kit. Like these are like small little details, ladies, but it, it has to work. So it can't be too big and it can't be too dense. And it just had to be perfect. I'm going to just take the rest that's on my hand and I'll take it down on my neck because it is warmer. And that's the whole idea today, because when I put on the chili, it's going to be a definitely not a cool color for me. But again, this is about showing makeup. This is not always like, oh, this is perfect for me. There's so many different women, all different types of skin tones that watch my channel. And I really want to bring multiple different colors for you. I am going to see if I can really pull it off. We don't know yet. We're going to experiment together. So I have reorganized my, my desk to be super organized. Every time I do that, I can't find anything. So I'm almost feeling like as an artist, it should just be like everywhere. Cause then I can find it when I have everything perfect. <laughs> and all organized. I'm like, where did I, where did I put this stuff? So I feel like I keep reaching around for everything. So we have the beautiful look coming together. Lashes are on with this beautiful skin. Now, since we kind of are going higher with the Mac chili, $19 for the lipstick, let's go into a wet and wild. This is a blush and a highlighter. So I'm going to do a little bit of this and then I'm going to warm it up with, this is my high low. You know how I like doing that. I'll go drugstore and then I'll go prestige. This is hourglass. Look how beautiful this little bronzing palette is. This is their ambient light. It is so pretty. It is, you know, you don't need too much but we're gonna try doing a little high low and I'm just gonna mix just like this, kind of a peachy kind of color. Let's see what happens on the cheek. I definitely will really tiptoe using this cause I don't wanna have too much sheen. Wow, you can see has definite sheen. So we know to go not too crazy on this. Let's just give a little, but pretty. It's really nice because it's not super glittery. That's a very big hard no for me. When I go to the drugstore, I've bought so many different kind of like highlighters, what have you. And it's like a full on 
Studio 54 disco party on my face and I wash it off every single time. And I'm like, here we go again. This is why, ugh, I mean, talk about just being disappointed when you're like, oh, it'll work. And then you're like, it's definitely not working. Go in with a little ambient light. I'm going to just take the same brush and I'm going to sweep across. I like to go into like the first color so it's not too dark because yes, I am light. So I will just bronze up beautiful. I'll bronze it up. And then, you know what, let's take it up here and then we'll come down. Now, again, if you're like, oh my gosh, that, that was too much highlight, take it down, take the, the powder brush and take it down. So you're like, okay, it's more manageable. I see it. I like it, but it wasn't like, whoa, mm, maybe a little too much. Just take it down. You don't have to start over. That's one of the, the biggest things that I like to teach you is that if you make a mistake and you're like, what the heck is that? Like that didn't look like I thought it was or what have you. Don't get upset, especially when you're getting ready for an event. Just go with it take it down, do a wash of color like I've showed you how to do. This is really beautiful. I love the bronzer, just really nice and light and not heavy. And it's, you know, it's really about casting that light on the skin, that deepness, that bronziness. So we did the hourglass. Now, here we go. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to use my Cameo lip pencil because I don't want to go into anything that's really red and over the top. I'm going to try to pare this down, wear it, this lipstick, because it's in that brown orange family, a little bit against my coloring, but I think that we can make it work. Using Cameo, we're going to line the lips and just give them some definition. So I have on just a very neutral lip liner. This is what I wanted to do because I didn't want to go too overboard. And this is going to be where instead of putting on the lipstick, because it is a darker color. This is where my new lip brush comes in handy. So I just pull it out and then I go like this because it's usually like once it, if it hasn't been used, it's a little stiff. So I just go like this. So it loosens it up, go into the bullet of this beautiful lipstick. And we're going to see how this applies. And it is matte remember, but I have the vitamin E on my lips. So I have a little cushion there. And we're going to really be precise when we apply this lipstick. So it's really, really easy to apply a darker color when you have a lip brush. And I wanted to start first where the Cupid's bow is and really work my way down and then fill in. So it is a matte color, but it is very velvety. I feel that it feels so nice. Even though I have the vitamin E on, it feels really, really beautiful. So what I could do now is, is that yes, it is more orangey brown for me. I'm going to put on some earrings that are going to be gold. Yes, against gray hair, but you know, I don't want to be limited. I don't want somebody to say, oh, because you have gray hair, you can't do this and you can't do that. You know, just like when, like with yellow, I wear yellow all the time and I love that color. And I have some actual really beautiful styling coming up over on my Instagram. And I just love yellow. And if it makes you happy, do it ladies. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Yes. I wear silver and gold together all the time. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's great to express yourself in many different ways and fashion jewelry is one of them. Hair color is another. You want to change your gray hair to blonde. Great. You wanted to go blonde to gray. Do it. Don't be stuck in a box. If you feel like it looks beautiful and you like it, then do it. I can take a little champs. This is my lip gloss that I top everything with, and this is going to take this down a notch. So again, just like how I wash over the eyeshadow when it's maybe not really my color. We, we did that Tom Ford that was a little too mauve. It was too pink. And then I just took the lighter color coming down and it looked beautiful. And I was like, Oh, I like it now before I was like, Oh, I don't know if I could really do this color, but you know, that's, what this is all about experimenting not saying oh i can't do that and i can't do that we are changing as we're aging your hair color is changing your face is changing you want to be able to glide into these decades like oh well i love this or i don't like this not oh i've been using this for 20 years and this is the only thing i can use because that's dated and you don't want to be dated with your beauty. You want to evolve. You want to bloom. You want to be open to colors or formulations that are different than you've used before. You know, I've had a, a it's something that, did you see how I've kind of just worked it into being a tiny bit of a different color, not right from the bullet. Chili, see, different. Almost more like in the Coralie, because I took the champs and I like bubbled it up because this is my champagne topper. That's something that's happened to me recently where it's like, I immediately already make an opinion about something, a, a lipstick or a formulation or a cream blush. And I'm like, so frustrated. Like, no, no, that's not what I want. And I'm like, wait, let me just 
play with it. Let me just sit back and not be so judgmental of the product yet. So I have kind of been like working through things and, and changing my mind and attitude where I'm like open to it. Cause if you are not open to product and beauty and difference, cause I know as we get older, it's hard to be open to difference. You're going to be really disappointed and you're not going to allow yourself to evolve into the magnificent, gorgeous self that really you deserve. And so this is why we do different things, you know, work with different products, high, low, I could go into browse, but you know what? I think they're fine. I'm going to just keep it like it is. Maybe do a little, you know what? I haven't used the makeup setting spray in a while. We'll use the glam guard on, on my face and make sure that you use it more often than so it doesn't get stuck like that and spray an entire section of your face like it just drenched it. Listen, I don't think I'm gonna organize my <laughs> desk anymore. I'm gonna keep it like all crazy. Last thing I'm gonna do, ladies, is I'm going to, this came today, my Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle Mimosa. This is the most beautiful, it's not rose. This is, I think this is limited edition. I'm going to spritz this to take me to the Mediterranean. Oh, I know that you would love this scent. I just think it's beautiful. I'm so thrilled I'm getting outside of my rose whole box just for the summer. I just want that, you know, it's something different. I'm open to it. And so now I feel like I need to let me experiment with every single perfume I possibly can. But I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you, if you want to try the MAC Chili, it is obviously one of the most popular lipsticks in the world. It is definitely something you can add to your whole you know beauty repertoire take it down take it up use it you know completely by itself it's up to you so ladies until my next video i'll see you later